Yeah, they go three five-minute rounds. The question is now, will we see round two? As Jason Black looking utterly exhausted. But he made a good comeback. He made a great comeback in the latter part of this round. Uh, these guys left nothing out there in the opener. Now, you talk about fighting on the ground. Maurice, these guys were not separated by the referee. They were warned once or twice, but the reason they were not separated was because they were very active on the ground and on top. Way up over the top. So let me look at it. You know, I don't have an option. Going inside. Good shots here as Black is backing up. Cut opened up there, and look, oh, what action is it? Left there, right there, left could have gave him a cut there, with that one left. It's like I said, Jason is tenacity. He just goes, goes, goes. So they're going to let it go. Good. Well, this is a, the mayhem you talk about when we talk about melting pot of mayhem in the mixed martial arts, because that was a terrific first round. Now we got to see if the years made a difference, the layoff of Chad. See if this will make a difference this round. See where he's at. He could be off for a year, but he was only off a minute here. And he could use more. So two Warriors battle on now in round two. Jason Black in the black. Chad Saunders in the red. Dave Bontempo along with Maurice Smith here at the Aladdin. Oh, this, see, they're going to go for a strike. Jason wants to cut, make the cut open right here. And I think that's what I would go for if I were Jason because that's going to stop the fight potentially. But Jason doesn't really want to stop the fight like for the cut necessarily. Knowing Jason, look at that. He got him down. Big takedown there by Jason Block. He tries to go to work and get the legs going, but blocked off by Chad Saunders. Look at the exhaustion here for Chad Saunders. He's trying to suck in air as he tries to keep Jason Block off. Yeah, that and year. he has to sacrifice a little bit of positioning to get some air. Yes, he does. And that's the chance he's going to get hit with a punch there, but like he just, just did it then. The cut's pretty nasty. It's just a matter of time before it opens up to the point where he can probably stop the fight or have the ref come in, call the ref in for the doctor to see this, how bad the cut is. But like I said, Jason's going to keep coming and keep coming. Jason Black on top and the fresher of the two fighters. Chad Saunders battling some exhaustion and uh, the position from the bottom and sometimes you see the bottom being a good position but just look at the exhaustion there for Sanders this is a very tough time for him yeah as you see what I was saying earlier standing at the top in the guard in the guard in this game of fighting not so much quote jujitsu but in this style of fighting you don't want to keep a guy in that position you want to keep him away from your body so like I said earlier I would prefer to stay just where black is at I wouldn't want to come out of that position because watch your head, watch your head. why does it work better here than in jiu-jitsu as far well, as not getting inside the guard there. well because for, for jiu-jitsu it has to do with controlling the guy and working for submission you have the gi to help you work on work for submissions and escapes and what have you but here it, for me if i was jason it keeps me in position to punch and punch and not get hurt back and the striking more prevalent here than in the brazilian jiu-jitsu in that particular example right that these guys are using it more it's a more prevalent form of attack as you see this a bloody, a very honest effort by these guys. Nothing fancy, just try to out-drill you, out-work you, out-hustle you, and just wear you down. Jason, um, yeah, Jason, no, Chad tried to use the rope, the fence to get out, which is a good move, so he doesn't stay locked up in that position. He should use his leg now, but he didn't. He should use his arm to push away and then take his leg and use the fence to turn him around so he's not smashed against the fence like he is, like he's going right now. Watch your head, don't move. And you cannot use the fence as leverage, right. but sometimes there's a little bit of play in there, right. and the different referees will give you a little bit. And Jason Black just pummeling. Yeah, look Chad at Chad's Sonder. face. His face is starting to show fatigue really bad now. And like I said earlier, look at Jason. He's just constantly smothering Chad continually constant pressure and like i said he's not getting hit back much he's not really striking hard but he's striking to be effect to be effective to hurt he's opening up chad saunders and chad saunders keeps being asked a question how much do you want to fight because jason black is just really taking it to him gradually and the referee has warned a couple times about standing them up and they've responded by increasing the action yeah, like I said, if I was Chad, I'd, try to, I'd get him out of that, I'd get, put Jason out of my guard, I'd open my legs, put my, my feet in between Jason's legs, grab the fence and get up. <laughs> I'd use the fence then for sure. Let him warn me, but I'd be, up, I'd be at his position for sure. Chopping right hands here by Jason Black. Then he works to the body and the head. Excellent work by Jason Black as Saunders did not know where to defend himself next. Yeah, look in the corner. You see Jeremy Horn down by the green uh, case there, and you got Pat Miller in the top left. He has great instruction. He's good depth in that, in that corner there. 
Chad so, Saunders has a look on his face like, just give me the round three if you could. <laughs> Listen, this is what, what you, if you look at this, this way. Jason is in his corner where he's in for comfort, voices he's familiar with. Chad has to listen to these guys say, hey, hit him in the head, you know, elbow him. That's not a very comforting feeling in that, in that position because I fought one of uh, Pat Milkovich's guys as well. And I'm sitting in the corner, I'm sitting here fighting the guy and Pat stands with his man, Bobby, hit him, elbow him. So it's not a pleasant feeling, trust me. You, you could be in your hometown, but if you're in the wrong yes. area, you're on the road. <laughs> you're, wrong, you're in the wrong spot, baby. Jason so, Black goes to work again. It's good. This is good. But like I said, if I was taught a Chad, I would grab the fence, either spin out or get out of that guard and try to stand up. He's supposed to stand up. But right now, he's, he's just too tired. In the opener, we saw more action from Saunders on the bottom. But he is just really tired here. Final seconds of round two. You know, resuming after more than a year off. And you can see the conditioning telling a tale here. Conditioning. For me, condition is everything. A lot of guys focus on just training, like just like they're doing. Let's say they're, they're in class now. This is what they're doing. I am a firm believer of cardio. If your cardio is strong, everything else is great. So for Jason Black, everything is great thus far. I'll watch him. I'll watch him. I'll watch him. Tremendous round there for Jason Black as he wore Chad Saunders down. Even worse than he had in the opening round. And Chad Saunders showing a lot of guts. Yeah, he's got a lot of heart. He's a fighter. That's what these guys are. They're warriors. And some of the pageantry. Well, round two, Maurice was sort of like all Jason Black all the time. And he yes. got good positioning. Take a look at how he takes control of the round. So he's throwing punches. Now, Chad should have tried to knee real quickly, but he, he just couldn't. Well, he's just teeing off here. Yeah, like I said, he's got a hard fighter in Jason Black. He's just going to keep coming at you. You got to knock him out. You got to be in better shape than him. And right now, I think the year off is taking his toll on Chad. Well, will there be a round three? They're conferring in the corner. Jason Black versus Chad Saunders. Chad Saunders off more than a year. He's taken quite a pounding in round two. They're looking around. They're talking about it. He may not continue, and he will not. Good, smart stoppage in the corner. Yeah, that, that can be very dangerous if you continue to fight when you're that tired. Right, you gotta understand, this is a business, you can always fight again. This is not life or death in this business. These guys, they learn from this. They become better fighters, stronger fighters. And like I said, a guy like Black is a pure, is pure adrenaline. Just go, go, go. And I keep saying that over and over again, but you have to understand, if you're not in shape, you won't be able to stop them. You gotta be able to match his, his cardio, his, his desire with yours. So in this case, Jason Black with his mixed bag of arsenal, Punches and holds, etc., was able to get the job done and just pretty much took the top against Chad Saunders and went to work. And you have to have confidence in your stamina to do that. Everything. That's, like I said, if you, I'm a proponent of stamina. That's. We're going to be able to take a look back and see where the worst cut opened up. That was an elbow to the eye area, and then he just continues to go. That left hand gets in there, oh, nice and that punch. left hand opens things up. And, and look at Saunders. Maurice, he's got too many weapons to defend against. He's looking at the body, then the head. And this is Jason Black just taking what's being given here, fighting a very smart battle here. And uh, Chad Saunders very gutsy, but uh, I think this stoppage is extremely appropriate. Yeah, very much so. Like I said, you, can't, you can see the fatigue in his eyes. You cannot sit there and let a man beat on you. That's why I say I prefer to... We're ready for the final numbers. Let's get them from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of Chemical. two rounds, the fighter in the blue corner, Chad Saunders, is unable to continue the fight, and referee Steve Mazzagatti has called an end to this contest. For the winner in the red corner from Team Extreme, Jason Black! So Jason Black thrilling his fans in the crowd here, doing a very nice job, and gets the victory over Chad Saunders.